To grow up on the street is a very tough thing. It's more than a word to say. Unless you have been through there, you can't understand it. Every day you wake up, there is a challenge. Every day you wake up, you feel like uh, whether that's your last day on earth or, you know, nobody's there for you. So you never know whether you make it that day or not. My dad passed away when I was eight. So by the time I was 10, I was on the street because I had to do something for a living. My brother taught me how to shine shoes and uh, then he sent me out. So since I was 10, then I, I was on the street for almost eight years. There is a place called SIM, serving in mission. Uh, they had a program called uh, Children Ministry. So I went to the program, they're the one who sent me to school at the orphanage called uh, Salam Children Village. So that uh, actually changed my life. There was this lady uh, called Yvonne Mildred. Uh, she, was, uh, she used to work in SIM. She was the one, you know, who took me uh, who bring me here and said, you know, I'll take uh, the responsibility for this, this kid. So I want him to get a better education. So, you know, she had to talk to the principals and the people here. So it's because of her that I got to this school and get a better and a best education. Education is so important because it's you know, eye-opening for life. Once you have education, then you know what to do in the future, you know what to do to your life. It kind of opened my eyes you know, to go further in, 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 my, in my future. It makes you like communicate with different people, get different ideas, and uh, I think education is more than anything that you can imagine for your life. I started playing soccer when I was eight. It was my, one of my dreams to be a professional soccer player. When I was in school, you know, I, I, used to pay, I used to play for elementary and high school team. Right after I graduated in high school, uh, you know, I, I thought it'd be cool just to hang out with the kids, you know, just playing soccer around. So every Saturday morning, I used to go on the field down, down, down by the post office and just, you know, playing soccer with the kids. So that, that's how it started. I never, I, ne I never imagined or thought, you know, it, it would grow this big. It's not the easy thing because you know the numbers keep growing every time. Then I thought about you know hiring coach so that we you know we can form a team and then take it as a formal way. So I talked to a few of my coach friends that I know before, and uh, I actually invite them just to be a volunteer for some times with a, you know hoping that we will pay them in the future. I was a teacher assistant uh, in a Christian community school. So that's where I used to work and, you know, get some money for living. So that was the money I used to buy soccer balls. Because of the resource, we had to limit the, the program uh, because, you know, it was very hard for me to buy a soccer ball or jersey. You know, so because of that, you know, I wasn't just invite so many people to the program. Most of the kids, especially the, the kids that I started the program with, came from the street, uh, the place uh, post office. But now we have both, you know, street boys and community kids. When I say street kids, they're homeless. 
All the street kids came from the community. So, I mean, it's like uh, maybe reunite them from the community, with the community, because that's, where, that's the sources. That's where they came from, and that's where they belong to. We used to make a, a, a bowl with a plastic uh, bag and, uh, you know, old socks. That's how we used to play. But now for them to have a, a real ball with, uh, you know, jerseys and uniforms uh, and uh, cleats, it means a lot. They feel like, you know, they're already a professional player. They really appreciate everything they got because it's not something simple that you can go and buy it because you don't have the money. So whatever they got, they're so thankful and uh, really it means a lot to them. It's more than soccer. It's not just you know playing soccer with the kids. It's more of you know uh, making a relationship, uh, building trust with the kids, and uh, giving hope and future. And uh, by using the soccer as a, a means, you know, send them to school. I have already seen a change in their life. When I start the program, you don't see that they have a hope, but now uh, they actually tell you their dream and passion and you know, that they wanted to be a professional soccer player or athlete or you know, uh, something. They have, they have a dream inside. It does give them an opportunity you know, to, to dream and hope and uh, you know, dream whatever they want to be because that's, that's where the dream starts. Because once they learn about different people, different stuff, then they say, oh, that's what I want to do in life. So that's actually the, the main point where they can start dreaming. The major cost was and is that, you know, finding the soccer balls, jerseys, you know, all the materials that we can do uh, the soccer program. Right now we're having different people supporting us, you know, with balls and uh, jerseys, so we're so thankful for that. We're hoping uh, to build a youth center in the future where they can go to school and uh, learn some sport, the place where they can do different activities. We started with the soccer, but we're hoping to start a, a school like music school, computer school, and some other you know, uh, technical uh, programs uh, beside the soccer. Soccer means uh, a lot to me. It's a, it's a language for me. It's a, I can say it's the easy and the best language of the world because you can easily communicate and interact with people that you, 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 know, you don't know. For me to see uh, my dream is happening and you know, helping the kids and uh, give them a hope and future, just uh, through the soccer, it means a lot to me. Because of the, the kids on the street and because I was you know, the victim, then I am ded dedicated myself to the program.
that gentle people no different at all world is the same to we are brothers This is my village and uh, this is a very particular place that I have a story. Uh, you know, this is where I actually, uh, my mom gives birth. This building right here? Uh, yeah, it's right here. It's right here, where I was born. So, yeah, it's right here. While my mom was, you know, going to the hospital, uh, she couldn't make it to go to the hospital. So this is where I actually born. It always makes me laugh <laughs> because <laughs> like uh, being born on the street and uh, being a street boy for uh, eight years, it's kind of a <laughs> funny story. So.